1850s in Boston, there were 350 blacksmiths registered. And those 350 smiths were specialists on making edge tools for cutlery, axes, saw blades. Some were making household hardware. Others were making fireplace cranes and andirons. And then there were the farriers that shoed horses. After World War II, these were all more easily and cheaply made through manufacturing processes that mass produce these same items. In the early 1970s, a lot of Smiths realized that there was this potential loss in what had been a viable profession for over 3,000 years. And so we tapped some of the older Smiths that were still working to be able to share information, things that would have been very difficult to have ever found inside a book. There was still demand in the home building industry to supply hardware for homes. I decided that I would concentrate on uh, Spanish colonial door hardware. I can say that this range of the work, traditionally oriented forge work, really helped solidify the functional basis for understanding the trade. I grew up in Tulsa, Oklahoma. My father was an amateur archaeologist and my mother was a quilt maker. And taught us, my brother and sister and I, how to work with our hands in lots of different ways, from growing a garden to building our homes. Julie and I and my children, Kate and Irene, and a number of friends, and my brother and his family helped build the home that we live in now, and the shop as well. If I get too big of a shovel, thank you. <laughs> yeah, Santa Fe is a place that it's completely acceptable to build your own house out of the backyard. Being able to make a house right here from the materials at hand is something that has been really rewarding. My folks separated and uh, divorced when I was 12. And mom moved to El Rito and invited us out during the summers. And it was during three different summers that I spent time with Peter Wells, a blacksmith and a printer. He had a small blacksmith shop and taught me about blacksmithing. He realized that I really wanted to, well, wanted to take off in a serious way with the uh, forge work and so offered the uh, shop and house and uh, the land that it was sitting on uh, for $27 a month rent. I was 16 then and was uh, trying to finish high school but realized that I could make a living as a blacksmith in this farming community and uh, so set out to do that.